kids, it's me, Tony Holmperm, the singing diva of Long Island. If you enjoy videos where you get to see me create a fabulous drag look, well then you've come to the right channel. Now, today what I'm doing is uh, I'm actually getting ready for my Naughty or Nice show tonight. Uh, that's the show that I do with the horror diva, Alexis Flame. We call it our internet variety show. And we're having a very special guest, a drag queen by the name of Diamante Habibi. Uh, she's a belly dancing drag queen. I've yet to meet one of those. I'm very excited. And uh, I knew I needed to... Uh how to get ready for the show. So I said, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? So I knew I was wearing uh, this dress, uh, something that I've had hanging up for ages, but it's really not a dress mm, that I could wear for performing in. But as far as uh, video work like this, where it's, you know, just from the uh, boobs up, it's fine. So I was trying to decide what kind of a look to do. And I wanted to do something uh, burgundy in color and um, I don't know I think it looks a lot more purple than burgundy but uh, that's an issue I have I guess things look burgundy in the pan I put them on my eye and they turn purple I, I don't know is it me does this happen to anyone else anywho I said let me look at some of my old palettes things that I haven't used in a long time because uh, they need love too. You know, you're, the palettes that are, you know, at the bottom of the drawer, sad and neglected, they need your love. <laughs> so I actually went to uh, my uh, makeup stash and I was looking through and I said, what, what should I use? What should I use? And I decided to use uh, a couple of my Kaleidos palettes. This is the Cyber Bronze and this is the Astro Pink. I think I used more of the Astro Pink than the Cyber Bronze. Yes, this is the the Astro Pink. It's a beautiful, beautiful palette. The uh, Kaleidos Matte and Shimmer formula is so good. Um, this was the color that I thought was more of like a burgundy reddish tone, but I don't know, it looks very purple on my eyes, but you know, that's fine. It's okay. Uh, I really like how this look came out, and uh, that's the most important thing. It's not as burgundy as I would have liked it to be, but I um, I think it looks really good. So really, this was just a uh, shopping my stash kind of video using products that I already had um, to get ready for tonight's Naughty or Nice show. So I don't think I'm going to uh, waste too much more of your time. I'm going to roll the camera back and let you see how I created this look today. Okay, so I am back. I glued my eyebrows down. I did my base foundation. I did new eyebrows and I actually used some colors from my Kaleidos Futurism 2 Cyber Bronze palette. I used... Oh, I don't want to blind you with the, with the mirror. Um, but basically I used this color and this color uh what, co what colors are those it's on the little plastic thingy which let's see uh quantum and infrared is that right it doesn't seem right i think this is no this is not right this is not from this palette it's from the other palette i got my little plastic sleeves all mixed up but any anyway it, it, the two browns i showed you that's what that's what I used to do the brows, and uh, I think the, the brows look good. They will work, and um, I want to do a very sort of burgundy look, and that's why I grabbed the um, the Cyber Bronze and my Astro Pink, and I love these these six pan palettes that they did, and I wish I wish they would I wish they would do them again or you know add to the collection um colors are just just so good so i really wanted kind of a burgundy look but i didn't want to use palettes that i normally would use for a burgundy look because i, I can't just keep grabbing my color pop wine and only or any of the palettes that i i normally do i wanted i want to you know keep things fresh here on my channel and I haven't used any of these Kaleidos 
um, palettes in forever. So I said now would be a, uh, a good time to do that. So it's going to be kind of burgundy, but somewhat brownish. I'm wearing a red dress tonight, a red dress that uh, I've never worn for anything. It's not really something, as I was looking at it today, not really something that I would use uh, for performing in. I don't know what possessed me to get it. But I think for doing a video, it'll be fine. Because in these kinds of things, you know, you're, you're only seeing me from, like, the, the waist up, so... I don't need, really need to worry about the entire dress. Okay, so I just want to make a line for myself. Oh, and I'm going to go back into the uh, astral pink. And I think I'm going to use this purplish kind of burgundy color. And we'll be adding some brown from the uh, cyber bronze. But I just want to mark out a, uh, a line for myself. I'm going to go in with that burgundy color. I just want to give myself a guide as to, you know, where I'm going. And I just don't want to put any tape down. I mean, the, the tape does help give a really sharp look, but um, sometimes it pulls the foundation up and, you know, all that stuff. And I just, I just don't want to deal with it. I just don't want to deal with it, and I don't have to. <laughs> I'm just going to put, place this thing on the side of the eye and use that to uh, just create a line that will be the guide. And if it gets a little messy, you can always touch it up with foundation or whatnot. I'm looking in my far mirror. I can barely see what I'm doing. So, yes, the wonder of growing older and, you know, eyes no longer being as good as they were when we were young. And my eyes were never nev were never that, that good to begin with. I, I, I've always had poor vision. So, just my luck. Okay, so I made that line. I'm going to go in with that color. What is that color? That must be... I think it's... I think that's droid. That purple burgundy-ish color. So we're just going to put some more of that down. I really do love the Kaleidos formula. Oh, I did put my uh, ABH eyeshadow primer down, and I tell you, it does not matter if it's a bougie ABH, P. Louise, Cheap Makeup Revolution, or NYX, or ELF, my eyes always, the, the, the primer always creases on my eyes, no matter what. No matter what. So... Just something I have to live with. I really do love the Kaleidos eyeshadows. They're really, really good. I just ordered um, the Black Jasmine Quad. The cool tone one. The black and the grays and the silver. They had another one that was like um, browns, but it didn't didn't really appeal to me. I'm not. I'm just really not that into browns, neutrals, and and I do I do have some in my collection, and I feel like I have I have enough. I don't I don't need any any more. <sighs> Look how good that is. It, it took like what a minute. Okay, I'm going to uh, do the other side like this, and then we'll be right back. That was done so incredibly quickly and so so easily, because these colors, these Kaleidos shadows are just so good. Um, 
you know, I think I'm going to deepen it up, though, with some of uh, this color carbon, this black. Should I do the black or should I do the brown from the... Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the black. Sparingly, though, because Kaleidos' blacks are really pigmented. The, the black in the, um, the sci-fi green, probably one of the deepest blacks in my makeup collection. I gotta tell you, I just did one little tap on the brush and instantly added so much depth to the look and it was I just did tiny a tiny tiny bit that um black it has a little bit of a of sparkle to it but I don't know I don't I don't see any of it on the on the lid um I have yet to really find any of these mats that have like a sparkle to them where the the sparkles actually remain. They always seem to just brush away. I, I, I don't get why uh, brands continue trying to do those. So beautiful. Okay, let me do the same on this side. Okay, that just, it basically just blended itself right out. It was just two colors, the, the uh, burgundy and the, and the black. And that's it. That part's done. So quick. Okay, I'm going to cut the crease, and we'll be right back after that. Okay, I'm back. Cut my crease. Looks good. I'm just going to take some, some more of that. Well, I wanted to call it a, a burgundy, but... It's looking way more purple on my eyes. That always seems to happen to me. I've got to really go through my makeup collection and see what I have that is really burgundy or will look burgundy on my eyes. I, I don't know why this always happens to me. I, I put what looks like a burgundy on my lid, but it just uh, seems to apply uh, purple. <laughs> Does anyone else have that problem? I don't know what it is with burgundy. Okay, so I softened up the sides, and uh, now what to, uh, what to put on the, on the lid? I think I think what I'm gonna do is use um, this shimmer from the Astral Pink. Okay, really beautiful. And towards the inside, I think from the um, Cyber Bronze, I think I'm gonna use that silver. I think I think that's what I want to do. The Kaleidos shimmers are really bright and reflective. Um, let me put some glitter primer down and uh, then we'll be right back to apply the shimmer. Okay, I put the uh, NYX primer down. I'm going to use my Kaleidos packing brush. Let's see how this applies. This is my right. Oh, that's not the right brush. Not the right 
not the right brush. Let's, let's go in with this. Okay, that looks really, really beautiful. Um, now I'm going to go in with some of the silver from the astral pink. Let's see how that looks on the inside. Okay, I, I really love how that looks. The Kaleido shimmers are just so, so beautiful. Okay, so I'm going to do the same on the other side and a little bit of liner work, and I will be right back. Okay, I um, set the shimmer down on both sides, and I think it looks really, really beautiful. Very, very reflective. Did a little bit of liner work, and now it's just uh, to just smoke out the bottom of the under eye a little bit. So I'm going to grab some of carbon, that black, I think, I think I'm going to do black in the waterline, I think we're going to go very smoky with this look, and a little bit of the, I want to say burgundy, but I don't think it's burgundy, maroon, I don't know, I don't know what color it is, it's beautiful, it's a beautiful color. So, what, whatever color it is. I was hoping for more burgundy, but you know what? Sometimes you just got to take what you get and, uh, and uh, deal with it. Okay. That's really all I want to do. So, uh, I'm going to do the same on the other side and finish up the look and come back with a complete drag look. Stay tuned. And I'm back. And here it is, the finished drag look. What do you all think? Well, I have to say, I really love how this look came out. Uh, uh, this wig has just been newly restyled by my husband. I think it looks fabulous. Uh, this is just a, uh, a little red dress that I've had hanging around for I don't know how long, and uh, I just decided to uh, throw it on. But I think uh, I think it looks really good. I feel I feel very Dolly Parton like <laughs> with this look, uh, which is not a bad thing. Let me tell you, because we all know it takes a lot of money to look this cheap. So anyway, after I went off camera, I did my normal uh, contouring and highlighting. I used my Bang & Blush palette from Chaotic Cosmetics. Uh, I went pinky with the blush, and I used uh, this color, Pinch Me, very, very pink. Uh, for the lip, I grabbed uh, this L'Oreal Liquid Matte Lipstick. I, I I don't know what the color is. It's it's so tiny on there, but it uh, it's from the drugstore, and it's a it's a purple matte liquid lipstick. I went back into the Astral Pink palette, and I used some of that really beautiful pink shimmer uh, on top of it, and I think it just gives it such a beautiful shimmer. Oh, and least I forget, I also used um, my Kaleidos Star Surfer for the highlight, just a little bit right there. Uh, it has a really nice pink reflect and i think that goes really good with the uh, the astral pink palette so all in all i have to say i'm really really happy with this look i uh i would go on stage in this i definitely would and actually i am sort of performing tonight i have my naughty or nice show that i do with alexis flame and uh, we have a very special guest, Diamante Habibi, will be the guest tonight, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. If you enjoyed this video, then please hit the like button down below, and if you want to see more videos like this from me, hit the subscribe and the notification bell. You can always catch me on my weekly podcast, God Will Get You For That Walter, which is the show I do with Tom Cat. We watch episodes of the 1970s sitcom Maud, which starred B. Arthur. We review the episodes. We talk about how things were in the 1970s, how things have changed, and in some ways how things have not changed at all. And of course... There's Naughty or Nice, the show I do with the horror diva Alexis Flame, which is why I got all gussied up. And we have a 
complete line of merchandise for Naughty or Nice, uh, which includes the Naughty or Nice eyeshadow palette, and the details for all of the shows, the merchandise, where to find me on social media. It's all listed down below. Well, kids, that's all I have for you today. This, uh, it wasn't really a very special video. It was just, uh, me shopping my stash, getting ready for my Naughty or Nice show, and, uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing all of you again in the next video. Bye-bye.